Hey everyone, in uh, bouncing around through my projects, I thought I'd reconfigure this uh, recent Tesla coil kind of build. Uh, it's basically the one where I had the aluminum plate inside and the ferrite rods, and there was just a primary around that secondary. So now I turned it into a three coil slash maybe even a four coil system. So there's the uh, primary and secondary here, and uh, the weight in copper is uh, exactly the same. So there's basically six turns of four wraps inside. There's 24 turns on the secondary, and uh, these uh, six turns are actually all in parallel. Uh, so and there's basically six turn primary, 24 turn secondary, and then this uh, was measured in weight uh, to be, have the resonator the same as the secondary and primary. And uh, the, uh, I guess the top load on the resonator is uh, just like the primary, the same weight again. And uh, the secondary, or sorry, the resonator was deliberately uh, one, uh, it was using arm's length to determine the lengths, so I didn't have to count turns just to pull the right amount of wire. And uh, the last turn, uh, or six or five turns or so, are part of the length of the resonator. So uh, that's kind of the design of the coils. And uh, I was looking to actually make a driver for the uh, Smith system here, and I found that uh, the light here, uh, well, so the frequency was really dependent on the plates, so I was thinking of possibly using this as the driver, because I can get the uh, oscillation to around 250 kilohertz if I want. Right now I get the best amplitude on this light at around uh, over 400 kilohertz, 410, roughly, and I'll just adjust the uh, plates a bit. It's kind of a perfect bubble where the light pops on. Or if it's too close, it'll go down, but, uh, yeah, so if I go with the plates really close, it draws a little less current. Uh, the frequency, though, kind of bounces between the low 220 kilohertz. Anyway, so... This somehow could be a, an adjustable frequency driver for the input of the required 250 kilohertz uh, to the primary here. So being that these diodes are typically facing this way into the primary, giving a double ripple kind of positive pulse, um, maybe just rectify the end of this and feed it into uh, the primary here. Kind of like a Tesla magnifier feeding the Smith system. Uh, or I was thinking using the bitoroid on the Met Glass transformer. But uh, I was like wanting to keep that on its own. So, uh, yeah, we will talk to you guys soon. Oh yeah, this is just basically a, a little... Uh, kind of like a Slayer circuit, I guess. Um, the ferrite in the primary and secondary was crucial. If there's no ferrite in there, the light uh, very dim. And um, I was actually thinking of putting a resonator, uh, another duplicate resonator, off of this plate to ground, just to see uh, if I could get any, any more amplitude in light. And right now with the probe on one side of the light, 
on the ground side it's reading about seven volts. But I really do not want to uh, lose this oscilloscope. But uh, basically in midair here we've got over 90 volts. And that's run straight to this plate. And then the ground side, this other plate runs straight to the load and then to ground. So, uh, yeah, pretty nice setup. And this is at 24 volts, 110 volt light. Uh, it's about a, I think a, uh, it's like a 50 watt bulb, I guess, yeah. It's a halogen type thing. But, uh, this is just some light, it's not in any way optimized. Just found a different way to get light off of the, uh, it was originally the Delamorto catcher uh, design, a uh, Russian one and just wasn't quite as much light as I can get out of this arrangement with the ability to manipulate these two plates um, as the capacitance uh, between the light and ground instead of having a, an adjustable you know coil where I had all these taps coming off of it and then when I would connect to the second or third layer at times that would give me better or worse results so this was just too unpredictable uh, so this seems to be just a more reliable way to get the light out out of this bulb so um, anyway we will talk to you guys when I got a bit more progress on driving this and uh synchronizing the, the cooler board and I also plan on uh, getting the uh, Eric Dollard LMD thing running even my original <laughs> Bedini circuit uh, I might get spinning <laughs> uh, but anyway talk to you guys soon